going to describe first a model of associations, an XML-based model of associations that really closely follows the HTML model. And what's the HTML model? There's a reference and there's a referent. The referent goes in the href, right? The hypertext referent. And the reference is a text node um, that's a child of the A tag. So the schema that you see in front of you is, is kind of a reiteration of that basic idea using more general terminology. We have instead of an A tag, it's called XREF simple. And so I wish that HTML had actually called their tag link or something like that. That was more um, obviously what it is, but they called it A, and here we're going to call it XREF simple. We also have a referent URL. Instead of an href, we call it the referent URL, and maybe that's just as, as obscure as href, but it is. Uh, but it is at least indicative from our vocabulary set of what it is we're trying to put in that attribute. And then where does the reference go? Where does the hot text go? Where does the stuff that, that tells you where you're going to link to, where does that go? That's a text node child, as, is, as it is in the A tag, that's a text node child of the, um, of the, of the root tag, of this xref simple tag. And so we make this xref simple tag, what's the word? Mixed. We make this xref simple tag mixed so that we can have a text node child and it can also have that referent URL um, attribute child. And so that's what allows this tag to have both a reference and a referent. It's mixed. And so when you look at the, at the sample HTML, you see that the referent URL is a URL. And by the way, we can set that referent URL tag if we want to actually enforce the the URLness of it so that um, a malformed URL um, will will not validate in the instance. I, ch I chose not to do this and just keep and just keep the uh, the attribute as a string here, but we really could have done that if we wanted to. So you see the simple xref, right? The simple xref has a referent URL. It has a text node that's also a child of the xref simple tag, and that's all you do in the instance. Very straightforward. The transform does two things. It selects the attribute, and that's what's that's what's inside that href um, equal sign, is the value of thing, the little curly bracket thing. You'll remember selects into an into an attribute, and it's selecting selecting that reference ur that referent URL. And then what do we do inside the a tag? We say, oh by the way, this is that the template matches an xref simple. What does that mean to match an xref simple? It means when the when the XSL parser comes along and finds an XREF simple inside of our inside of our um, our instance, it invokes this template. That's what it means. It's not a it's not a um, it's not a named template. It's a matching template, and that means it will run. It will be invoked. It will be used when the parser comes along and finds um, and finds an XREF simple tag. And so when the parser comes and finds an XREF simple tag. The, the, the crucial thing to know here is that that xref simple tag becomes the current node. Once I'm inside this, this template called match equals xref simple, the current node is the xref simple. And now you can understand what xsl value of select dot does. What's the dot? Dot means current node. What's the value of the current node? The value of the current node is the value of the xref simple node. The value of the xref simple node is that text node that's within it. So the value of the xref simple tag, the value of dot at this point, at that line in the transform, is the words black maple, okay, or black maples. And so you can see in the, um, in the H HTML output that we put the word black maples in there for X XSL value of dot. Once again, the template, when we say template match, that template is invoked, that template is run, that template is accessed when the current node is xref simple, when the processor goes through and finds an xref simple inside of our um, uh, inside of our instance, when it finds that, it runs this template and it makes xref simple or xref simple was at, at any rate the current node. And so when I say give me the value of the current node, that means give me the value of xref simple. The value of xref simple is its text node, and so that results in the text node being put into the HTML output.